This is a mystery box from the 80s. Actually, it's not really from the 80s. It's just an 80s mystery box. So it's based off the original Super Mario Brothers game from 1985. And it's got a bunch of stuff related to it, I think, inside. I saw this mystery box before a bunch of times at Walmart. I never got it. Found it at GameStop, actually. And I was like, you know what? I'm buying it. Let's see what's in this great mystery box. You guys know how much I love mystery boxes, so I can't wait to get into this. Especially since I love Super Mario Brothers. That trilogy from the 80s is great. I used to play it all the time. And I still do every once in a while. The original Nintendo console is probably my favorite console ever. Actually, it is. If you never played those games, you should give them a shot. But first, we got to get into the mystery box. Yahoo! It's got plastic all over it. Just got to cut that open. It always depends. Half my audience loves mystery boxes and half doesn't. So, hey, I just do it. And for the people that like it, you get a video. And for the people that don't, you can watch tomorrow's video. I'm actually excited about this mystery box. It's probably the only mystery box I actually care about. Let's reach in and get the first item. Hey, look at that. Super Mario hat. Now this is great. Let's get this on right now. Oh, look at that. Now I usually don't wear hats ever. I think I look terrible in them, but you know what? I think I gotta rock the Super Mario hat. And all these products, by the way, are official Nintendo products. So Nintendo actually officially made these. So they aren't like knockoffs, if any of you guys care. But here's the hat. There's a close up of it. It's just Mario reaching for the star and then you got the tag on the back here i'll wear it backwards i'm like cool now this hat is definitely meant for like three-year-olds next item in the super mario box all right this is a big one that's really hard to tell what that is but i think it's a bullet bill from the original super mario brothers game that's how they looked there it is i mean i don't know if i would ever need this but if i ever need a bullet bill plushie i got it right here i can sleep on it and everything and they all have like that same tag none of you care okay Oh, wow. Look at this. Two-sided hanging door sign with chain. This one's pretty cool, actually. Let's open this up right now. So it has a chain, and it's like kind of plasticky, but it has two screenshots from the actual game. This one says, thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. And that's Toad telling Mario. And then this one says, thank you. Your quest is over. We present you a new quest. Push button B to select a new world. So you would play the game again and have more enemies and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. You can hang this up. I might do that right now. Let me find a spot for it. All right, I'll take this thing off. There we go. New Super Mario sign. Hope you guys like it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. There it is. That's probably the best one yet. I mean, this one's cool, but you really can't tell what it is. Like, if you never played Mario and you saw this, you'd be like, what the heck is that? Like, if it was a Goomba or something, that would be like, oh, that's a Goomba. Nobody's gonna know what this is. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm five. This hat's getting in the way. All right, we're already getting down to the last couple. There's not a lot in this mystery box. Let's shake it up. So this is the three pin set. I like the background for it, the game. And then you got the three pins. It's a mushroom one up because it's green. You got the flower and the star. Let's open this up. There you go. It's got the little pin. I'm not really a big fan of pins, but I guess I could put one in. There you go. Got the little star on. And the other two, I just don't feel like doing it. So you're just getting the star. And that already leads us to the last item. And it's this thing. The bag of poison they always put in stuff. Wow. Yeah, that's just in there. That's not actually what it is. The last item's actually the thing on the front so i guess you remove that off oh my god it's like stuck in there oh, i wonder if it's a real nes cartridge i don't think it is but you guys can't even see me this hat all right so first up you get this thing and oh i was gonna say why does it have pegs on the bottom it's because of this all right so it's got this little thing you pull first uh i don't know what that is it's like a tray what do you put the pins in there we'll just slide that back but what i do know is that here's the cartridge so the nes games back in the day would look like this i actually have a real one right here here. This is Rambo, so it literally looks the exact same, basically. So it looks like the regular Mario game, nothing special. But if you look, it actually has two holes right there, and you can put Mario right in there. So it's like a little stand for him. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know why this is here still, this drawer, but it's there. That's pretty great. You can, like, display it how you want. I guess put them this way. This is definitely the best thing in here. I mean, it's a close call. It's either this thing or this bullet bill that you can't even tell what it is. Well, that was pretty quick. That's already the end of this mystery box nothing left in there look i'm shaking it nothing i'm not lying if you like mario you'll probably like this and if you don't you wouldn't even care for it